Hello, welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Grimsby, to Doc's Beers in Grimsby. Uh, they brew out of what they call the church. I assume it was a church at one stage. Uh, but it's in an industrial area, so it's, if, it's, if it is, it was a church, it's a strange place for a church. It doesn't really matter anyway. Absolutely top class tap room. I tell you what, if them guys were in Nottingham, they would be smashing it out the blooming park. Um, one hell of a tap room. You can see the brewery, all the brewery in the background, and you can actually sit in the brewery area as well. There is a there is a fenced off area where you can't go, but amazing. Um, loads of keg and cast lines, loads of merch, eatery, stunning place. Anyway, on with the beer. Today we're going to be reviewing Maelstrom Islay. Whiskey barrel aged imperial stat, 11.5%. It is pricey, it's been barrel aged for a year. It's £19.99. You may get a discount if you buy them, um, if you go in, into the shop and buy a load of beers. They may offer you some sort of discount. I did get some discount, I can't tell you what, but I did. So thank you to the people uh, selling it. Uh, it, did, it did just push me over the edge. I was contemplating, but like I say, you know. Uh, prices than that. But anyway, on this it says, This chaotic blend is comprised of Maelstrom aged in whiskey cask for a year before being married in stainless steel. Expect the greatest hits of both Islay and Island whiskies intermingled with a rich and powerful stout. Sweet smoke, peat, charred pineapple, pom fruit and vanilla succumb to the Maelstrom. Yeah, it says in the church, King Edward Street, Grimsby, DN313JD. Doc's Beers is the trading name of Axe Ulm Brewing Company. I didn't know that. Uh, although I've never heard of Axe Ax Ulm. I've only heard of Doc's Beers. So just going to show you, don't it? Nice pop. It's been, it's been open two days ago when I did the live on the channel. And uh, more of a chat than a beer review then. And here we go, so we're going to pour it out. Oh, look at that, bad boy. Um, and yeah, I've poured it into a Knott's Craft Beer Festival glass. Um, here we go. And uh, if I'm speaking directly to the people at Doc's Beers, I don't know if you do beer festivals or anything like that, but um, give Knott's Craft Beer Festival via social media, some sort of social media, be it, albeit Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Give them a, give them a poke and uh, just let them know you're out there. Um, I dare say, after the review, I'll give them a poke. And, uh, you know, put, put uh, some breweries on their radar for next year. Not this year, it's probably too early, too late now for a lot of breweries. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, lovely black pour. In fact, I've just that's just reminding me. I'm going to do it myself. There's a few breweries that I'd like to see at the Craft Beer Festival. Um, should any of the breweries they've already signed up fall out, fall away, and uh, yes, yes, that might be an idea. So a lovely black pour on this. There was a bit of a head the other day when I first poured it, but it soon dissipated. <laughs> It's a lovely looking pour. The nose. Charred pineapple, yeah. Peat whiskey. And it develops. Um, you pour this in a warm... Do it. This is... The shed's quite cool, to be fair. Um, but I, I, pour yourself a drink cool. Then let the bottle and the drink warm up. Leave the lid off the bottle. Let the air get to it. Let it breathe like a fine wine, like a fine whiskey. You let it breathe. You let it warm up. Put your hands underneath. Get it warm. Absolutely stunning. This is the second version of... Uh, uh, me, Andy and Keith, happy drinkers, um, all over in Grimsby with our wives and families. Um... And we all went in, it was an amazing afternoon in, in Doc's Beers. 
and Andy and me both bought the whiskey version. I bought the whiskey version before I knew he was going to buy any of them. Had I known, I'd have gone for the bourbon version. So, uh, Keith bought the wine version, the Rioja one. So I've tasted two out of the three. So at some stage, I'll have to get the third one. But anyway, yeah, here we are. I already know this tastes amazing. But I'm doing this review for, for review purposes, you know. Um, the peaks. Oh. Now, I know it says 11.5%, but this tastes a lot stronger than 115 Let me tell you now. Um, yeah, it's an absolute beast of a beer. In all the right ways, you know. You know, there's times on my beer journey throughout the UK where I've gone to a brewery and it has literally opened my eyes and amazed me. Adnan's Brewery in Southwold amazed me. Uh, the town was all about Adnan's, are stunning. In Salisbury, Dark Revolution Brewing absolutely amazed me with their range of beers and that. And these guys, Doc's Beers, another of the ones that amaze me. I've been to a lot of breweries, and good breweries, but the, you know, the three that ticked the boxes on every scale. You know, and uh, yeah, cheers. That marriage between whiskey and imperial stout. I've got some friends in Nottingham. Uh, Bang the Elephant and Emperor's Brewery. Doc's Bears. Um, you and them would make a stunning imperial stout together. There's a nice thickness to it. I'm not really a big PT whiskey fan, but in this, blooming neck, stunning, absolutely stunning. And this is at this temperature, in the warm, whoa, something different altogether. Unfortunately, it's not going to make the warm. It's going to be drank in the beer room by me, and I'm going to go up the house. I'm going to sit down, we're going to watch a film on the TV, put the fleeces over us because we're tight. And we don't want to put the eating on again, unless we need to. And uh, just chill out and watch a good film on TV. Or other um, ways of watching films. <laughs> It justifies its price. Yes, price, yes. People are going to say, I'm not paying that price, but, oh, you're not getting a standard beer here. You're not getting some double IPA or tipper or even a normal imperial stout. You're getting something that's got a the perfect marriage of a whiskey and imperial stout together. Uh, it, it val It's value is there for me you know uh yeah, I, do, I think it's a lot higher than 11.5 percent it's absolutely rocked me every time i've had a sip of it and uh, i can feel it now rather than <laughs> in the face um but yeah hey, what a, what an easter tree easter sunday today drinking this this beer review will come out on the monday because i've already got other beer reviews in line um, for, for, you know, uh, I try not to do, do beer reviews unless I'm in a pub, then you know, it is what it is in a pub. Uh, I mean, I've got like eight beer reviews from Doc's Beers still to come on the channel, but um, you know, I've got a lot of beer reviews from a lot of different places and videos. So, the channel, we there is a hell of a lot of content on the channel, some of it that people are not, aren't interested, well, there's a lot of it that people aren't interested in. But there's always something somebody somewhere is interested in. Somebody somewhere. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Blood. 
bloody hell. It's a banger. It's an absolute banger. Um, oh, I'm just going to give it a few more minutes for it to breathe. Um, get the best out of it. And if you live in Grimsby and Cleforts in that area, and this is your local, you are lucky people. You really are. Um, like I say, I've done, I've done a, I've already done a review of the tap room. Please watch that. You'll hear my full in-depth uh, thoughts and you know the processes. But that is a show place for Grimsby. You know, it, it's like the pull. Like, like all good craft beer places, you don't because the beer is probably not as cheap as what you get in certain pubs. But it's not macro stuff. It's it's you know it's craft beer done right, and the, the range of beers I, I literally can't fault it whatsoever. It reminds me of the tap rooms in Nottingham from my good friends at Black Iris Neon Raptor Liquid Light um, Magpie Brewery. You know, tap rooms, and there's other tap rooms as well, but I've probably just forgot them. Yeah. But yeah, the tap rooms, you know, they alter ego, blooming neck. They're makers of Rag Ragnify, uh, my award winning Milk Stout that I collabed on. Um, nearly forgot. I got a bollocking off somebody for that. Oof, you didn't mention them. <laughs> but um, yeah, stunning. And this beer, wow. Like I say, locally, we've got some amazing um, Imperial Stout makers. Um, the best two, beyond any shadow of a doubt, are Neon Raptor and Bang the Elephant. They're the best two Imperial Stout makers. They make so many as well. Um, and, you know, one of them collabing with these guys would be absolutely stunning. And a good way of getting Neon Raptor and Bang the Elephant Bear over in um, Grimsby and Cleforps and the surrounding areas because, you know, a lot of times they don't they don't know them breweries and a good way to get Doc's beers in Nottingham. Um, <clears throat> like I say, if anybody from Doc's beers wants to send me a message and chat to me, I'll put you on to the right people and I may even chat to them myself. But uh, if you're interested, obviously. Cheers all. Proper sleeping juice, it's lovely. And uh, it's Easter. There we go, that's the whole lot in there. I love the fact they've got reusable bottles. Uh, I've stopped using the brown bottles simply because when I do put a beer in them, I forget to wash it afterwards after I've drank it, and then it's a swine because I can't see. And so, yeah, if you wash straight away, then all good. But if you leave it for months or a year, then it's a little bit more difficult to see what, what how clean they are on the inside. Um, but nonetheless, there we go. Stunning beer, stunning brewery. I've got nothing but plaudits to say about this brewery. If you're a whiskey fan and you and you want to weigh into drinking imperial stouts and beer, if you're a beer fan but like the sound of whiskey but think it's a bit harsh for you, it's as simple as that. I don't need to say anymore. It's as simple as that. And we only regret I didn't get the blooming bourbon. You can't be more, can you? you know. um, so, would I drink this again? Oh my god. A absolutely, of course. Stunning beer, absolutely stunning. Um, makes me smile. A beer that makes you smile, that you take time to savour. I'm going to savour that off camera. Um, out of five. Scoring. Scoring is very difficult. 
you know, uh, it's dependent on so many different factors. Someone can give a beer five out of five, then where do you go? Because then every single beer is below, and that's not always the case. So I, I would never go as high as four point nine even. Um, it's just, and I don't think I've, I think I had to go a four point eight, and that was because the beer was a beer I collabed on, and not Ragnify, Raggy Avenue. <laughs> and if you're talking Raggy Avenue, this is a pure a pure walk down Raggy Avenue, taking in the admiration from all the other beers out there and saying that is a cracker. Um, yeah, a good 4.75 for me. Um, do I say get it if you can? Yeah, yeah. Again, price is 19.99, so it may well be out of a lot of people's brackets, but it is a true treat of a beer. Um, something to savor, something to, to uh, having a bottle share. Uh, not that I'd share the bottle with anybody, that, that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, an absolute treat, a perfect Christmas or birthday present, let me tell you. Oh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Cheers, everyone.